So, yeah, if you want some good coke, uh, pretty <laughs> thing, place to go. I think we found our leading comment for the podcast. <laughs> Stan with the Punk Rock Chronicles. Uh, stoked to be back here again for another episode. I've got my good friend here, Bob the Bastard. Hey, how are you? And uh, we've got a, a really cool band that we're going to announce shortly, but we just want to give you a quick update of what we're up to. Uh, so I think last time we were here or uh, on episode, we did the Punk Rock Museum. Was that our last episode? That was our last episode. And we interviewed the uh, My Shot. I kept calling it one shot, but it's my shot, a uh, photo exhibit, and that was rad because it was all, all female photographers, old school, new school, and it was on the anniversary of the Punk Rock Museum, one, one year anniversary, so, and the Vandals played, and uh, that was fun for us, you know, that was our, our little, like, if we were a band, that'd be like us going out of, you know, went to Las Vegas to play a show, <laughs> so we, but uh, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're plugging along, um, we're re-engaging on the documentary. I'm actually talking to some video editors again. Uh, just been super busy with life and just haven't had a chance, you know. Uh, but that's that's going on. Uh, we, we just printed some shirts. I think we're almost sold out on those. And uh, what else is going on? Uh, we've got some interviews coming up, but I don't know if I want to jinx it. Yeah, I was going to say, until we do the big one that we're, we have coming up, I don't know if we should talk about it. But I will say, I want to just take a second and say thank you. We did two runs of the newest uh, shirt that we did. Two runs. We did one uh, run of it. It sold out in, what, like four days? And then we did another run, and we're just about sold out. And it's only been like a month. So thank you for the support. Um, Proving once again that black shirts are the most fucking popular, <laughs> right? So we try different things and like you know, black. That's the way. To, that's the way to roll. So thanks and uh, thanks to the Punk Rock Museum. Um, like Stan said, we were really stoked to be there. I saw a lot of memorabilia, a lot of a lot of bands that were before my time, but a lot of shit that I was there for. And that really kind of made me happy and also really kind of bummed me out because I'm like, fuck, I'm old. Because I was at that show. I was at that show. I remember that, you know. So it was kind of a trip to see all that kind of memory lens shit. Um, but it was really, uh, really cool. And, and the artists that we had on, the photographers were amazing, right? Oh, yeah. They were so fucking rad. I mean, it was Marla, um, Jennifer Finch from L7 was there, and then OG. Yeah, OG. Yeah, so, you know, uh, enough about us. You know, um, we've got a really cool band in studio with us today, uh, or tonight. They're called Auxilio, and we're going to uh, dive into it with them. Uh, so, um, let's just, uh, I think we should cut out to a song, and actually I want to pick a song because we're going to go see Infest play. I knew it. I, 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 I want to play an Infest song, so uh, <laughs> I want to play a song called Where's the Unity? Are you fucked? Never back! It's great! Back up back! Fuck me! It's a fight! With a vengeance! And the sun! It's a beauty! Keep on back! Run to your fight! I think! Fight! Where the show! Keep pitching! Or stay! Where's the unity? Oh, you do a 
right. Infest. Love Infest. Can't wait to see them play. It's in May, yeah. right? Yeah. We got our tickets already. And yep. it's in Orange County, which usually they don't play in Orange County. And that This band doesn't play that often. Yeah. So when I saw them go on sale, I'm like, I'm buying tickets. So if you're going in fast, hopefully I'll see you there. Um, so now, yeah, let's dive into it. Uh, we've got uh, Auxilio. And uh, can we go around the room and kind of introduce ourselves? We'll start at the end. And just let us know your name and what instrument you play. Andre, I play guitar and do backup vocals. Cindy, and I play drums. And I'm Chrisma. I'm vocalist and lead guitar. Awesome. Okay, so when um, when did the band first get together? Um, we first got together, I believe, in 2016, and um, pretty much decided not to come out to the world till like a year later when we had enough music. Yeah. And so I would say we started playing shows like in 2017, like late 2017. Uh, what were your first shows? And what were they like? Um, well, we had to throw our own shows. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so we did that at first just to get out there. And, um, I mean, people supported us. They were they would see us on social media jamming out, like, what's going on, you know? What are they playing? And then we finally came out, and it was, it, it was pretty cool. I was calling you guys Grindcore. And <laughs> and I want you guys to correct me because uh, I, I just think fast growling vocals but what how, like what do you, how do you guys uh describe your music tell them cindy like, <laughs> yeah. the musical. i think it's cool that you know each one of us i think i feel we do have our own interpretation of it because we each have our own influences and what we grew up listening to but when i joined this band two years ago uh, i'm not the original drummer but um when i joined to me, it sounded like hardcore punk, but because of the vocals, um, it reminds me of like, you know, it can be, you know, like crusty punk or something like that, you know, because because of the low, deep growling type of vocals um, and because of my style of drumming, which is influenced by like crust and um, DB and and anarcho punk then i would say yeah it's just like a whole mesh of like hardcore punk you know um crusty um yeah so it's just we're, it's, we're it's metal too remember? oh yeah a lot of people do color. call us metal yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, what did you say sydney earlier what are we yeah. we're, uh, oh we're, we're <laughs> musical mutt <laughs> I love that. Pretty much. <laughs> Can you talk about some of the bands that influence you? Like, when I hear you, I think of, like, extreme noise terror, bands like that. We all have different, different Yeah, we, we totally <laughs> listen to different stuff. Like. Well, that's great. So, yeah. so let's start from, from left to right. Let's start. What, who are your, your influences musically? So I do kind of, I guess, lean more into, like, thrash metal. Right. So, like, Slayer. Yeah, cliche. But they're fucking badass. I like, you know, how they play, the fastness, the presence, like... That influences me to like fast playing and you know just fucking around. And you? That's one of them. Uh, drumming wise, like my influences, I feel like nausea, anti schism, Ostrotten, a lot of like that anarcho punk type shit. Yeah, um, those those are some that stick out to me. Also, like a, a lot of like UK anarcho stuff as well, like Subhumans, um, Crass, and Lost Cherries, stuff like that too. Right. Yeah. And what about you? I don't know. I like so many, so many different. Um, there was this, these bands that I would listen to a lot. Uh, was Crush, um, Axiom, Cerebros Exprimidos, Los Crudos, Brujeria. So it, it's all different all type of stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's rad. Anything has rhythm, pretty much. Did you set out to sound the way you sound on vocals, or was it just a natural progression? Um. I wasn't supposed to do any vocals <laughs> and in the beginning. We had a another uh, girl. Her name um, her name is Valerie. She's our friend, and um, she actually does grindcore. And she was doing vocals for us, but it didn't. Um, I don't know what happened. She just couldn't do it anymore. And we were already halfway. We were pretty much done recording with the vocals, and we had a. I had to learn how to play, and sing pretty much like in that moment. And I did vocals without even. Uh, I've never done it before. I've just played guitar. Yeah. And that's tough to do. Yeah, <laughs> and I had to learn, and I it, it it came out, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm the singer. 
I don't know how this is going to work, but it's something we do. <laughs> you got the job, right? <laughs> yeah. Can you um, talk about some of the early shows that you would go to before you started a band? Like, what were some of the early memories of going to shows? Um, I was on lockdown, so <laughs> my mom my mom didn't let me do shit, so that's you guys. My mom didn't let me do anything either. I would sneak, I would sneak out of my window. Yeah. Or I would lie, <laughs> saying I'm going to a quinceañera. <laughs> and then I'll just throw my backpack over and change to my clothes and go to a show, you know, just awesome. a, a backyard show. And she wouldn't know, but she she knew. Would you sneak out all the time? I think I snuck out like once or twice, got caught, got in trouble. She knew because <laughs> I would like come back with bruises. And she's like, what the hell happened to you? She's like, you went to a show, huh? You went in the pit. Like, y yeah. You know? You're like, no, the quinceañera got wild. <laughs> got, got too wild. Did, you, did you get out to some shows? Yeah, I, the, the ones that first come to my mind are uh, the community shows they had in Lafayette Park. There was like a very... Um, a pretty active like anarchist punk scene in the early 2000s in LA and uh, Lafayette Park Community Center which is kind of I'm not sure if y'all are familiar with like MacArthur Park area but it was around that area and we had bands playing there like um, Resistant Exist was very active at that time um, uh, Contravene would come in you know from Arizona um, Phobia and I just remember like like being, you know, as a te young teenager, just being blown away seeing these bands. And not only, you know, obviously musically talented, but they actually had a message like animal rights, um, anarchism, equality, you know, um, all, all this type of stuff. Like, to me, that's what I feel radicalized me in a way, you know, because it certainly was in public school. <laughs> so how did you three, how did you all of you meet? Um, well, I had started the band yeah. with other members. She's the only OG. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So <laughs> things just, as time passed, it just, I guess, things progressed and some people had to go. And um, I think we, I had a guitar player, a, a second one, and then it didn't work out with her. And she, then you guys became a three piece for a yeah, while. Yeah, for a while. And then yeah. she hit me up because I had asked her before, but I think, right? No, I don't know. We met through. Um, another she played female in another musician band. Yeah. Um, with Sarai. Yeah. She I was in another band with all women also. And so we had crossed paths, you know, just because the female musician community is super small. Yeah. And um, I saw that they, they were a three piece. And I was like, oh, I remember they had another guitarist. So I hit her, I hit her up. I was like, oh, oh I don't know if I hit up the band or you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, are you guys looking for, you know, another guitarist? You know, I want to jam. And then she's like, I don't know because we have bad luck with the other guitars. <laughs> I gotta like, talk to the girls, and I was like, we don't right. want to move any <laughs> yeah. anymore because yeah, everybody's like, not working out. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess. And then I told her, yeah. you know what? Just I talked come to and the see girls, and I was like, just just come through. You know, here's one song, learn it. And she she learned it, and we're like, okay. <laughs> and her vibes were were everything That's and spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about the vibe, right? I mean, you can, be, yeah. you can shred, but, but then... But the vibes aren't there, hell yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's over. It's like, yeah. being in a band, yeah, it's yes. like... A, definitely. And we were lined up already to play... Punk rock bowling, bowling. And, and Peru. Uh, Peru tour. Wow. I didn't know and when she, I joined. And she didn't know. And I think we were going up to... San, Ho San Jose. San Jose, and she didn't know. And I was like... These we chicks. all told her, we were like, well, if you're in, you know, you got to be ready yeah, to like, this, this, we're this. doing this. So if you want to, you know, like drop everything and we're going to go if you're down. And she's like, I'm down. And we're like, okay, she's in. We're going to play punk rock bully. We're doing <laughs> and We're doing soccer. And she's like, what? And she, she's like, let's do it. So. You just basically threw her into the deep end of the Pretty pool. Pretty much, like, yeah. Like I'm all like, oh, we just played a couple of shows in LA. The first, the first show I played, I played with them like officially was in san jose yeah so oh, that's that's a sacramento fucking, yeah that's another but time. it's up there but yeah. um yeah that was a five-hour drive and i'm like okay here i go <laughs> she was she was all in down. so we're like all right she's <coughs> she's she's down yeah and then um after that um oh no during before punk rock bowling uh we lost our bases mm -hmm. and so we were looking for a basis she's not here today but her we also knew her because small female community musician community and we asked her first to just help us out because we were going to play punk rock bowling, yeah so we're like, like we need a, a basis bass i think she learned the songs in less than a month mm -hmm. right yeah yeah 
And then after that, we asked her if she wants to be in the band in the band. And she said, hell yeah. And fuck yeah. And she's still here, but yeah. she's not here with us. She's not here with us, but she's still in the band. Who, <laughs> Love who, you, is, it, who is this mystery bass player? Uh, Belen, B. Uh, Belen, all right. Belen. Yeah. So, B. okay. And how long has she been with the band? Since 2019. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So it seems to be working out pretty well now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have two bass players. We also have a touring bass player. Yeah. When, so when she can do it. Which her name is Bobby, and we're like, you're in the band too. Yeah, <laughs> so she's technically in the band yeah. also. I like it. You guys yeah. have a real community kind of vibe. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so one can make it, the other one, yeah. you know. And we all get along. They were hanging out today. Yeah. <laughs> without Our us. Our faces were, like, were hanging out without us yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then with Cindy, so then after, a while after Punk Rock Bowling, then we lost our drummer. <laughs> and before we lost her, I think less than a month, we had a kind of big show at the Regent, the Regent Theater mm -hmm. in downtown LA. So we're like, fuck, we need a drummer. So here we go again. In the fe small female musician community, we asked um, Brenda Brenda from uh, Palabras. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's a badass drummer. Badass drummer. And she recommended Cindy because she couldn't, because, you know, she had other stuff going on. And so... Yeah, that's what we she met. She said, we I recommend Cindy. Yeah. She's going to fit right in. Mm -hmm. And we're so like, okay. We hit so her then, up. Mm -hmm. She also learned the songs in like less than a month. <laughs> she <laughs> like, no, Was it a month? Less than less, a month. Yeah. Less than a month. And she's like, we're playing the region. I told you, yeah, we're like, we're playing the region. I, I think, I think uh, the initiation for this band is like you get thrown in <laughs> the <laughs> deep end. And if you can hang, you're in the band. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It's how we do it. That's the hazing in this band. <laughs> Big welcome. show. Learn the songs in one week. You're in. <laughs> welcome to the, yeah, welcome to the band. We're playing Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool, though, you, that the community is so tight that you're able to pick up members that quick. Yeah. I mean, that, uh, we got lucky. We I got think. super lucky. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. not a lot. Yeah. There's not a lot of us. And a lot of us share each other. <laughs> they're, they're all in yeah, other like, bands. Yeah. Our We're all in other bands. Is yeah. in, well, she used to be in two other bands. Right now, she's just in one. Our touring base is in another band. Um, she's in another band. in another band. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to stick here. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every podcast we do, I always gripe, not gripe, but I always go on and on about how much I like the community vibe about punk rock and like the, it's not competition. There's like, you know what I mean? There's like a lot of intertwining and yeah. helping each other out, right? A rising yeah. tide, you know, uh, raises all ships, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you guys are living that for yeah. real. That's right. Yeah, yeah. With the the women, we found like they're badass and they're down, and I think this is this that. is it. We're not yeah. going anywhere. Well, we We're better not go nowhere. <laughs> so talk about some of your uh, your releases, your first releases up to now, and what the experience has been like. So first releases, you, because we weren't there. Oh. <laughs> um, it's an album. It's called La Vida's Más de Lo Que Somos. It's in Spanish. We have I don't even remember. We have like what <laughs> seven songs. Eight, eight, eight and songs cover. And, and one cover on there, yeah. And it, we sing Spanish and English on there. Well, we do that to all, all of our, all songs. Of our songs, yeah. yeah. And then after we went, just the self titled EP, no? And then we have a, a, yeah. No, we have another EP, the, um, you were in it. Yeah, the, aux the Auxilio. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. called, okay, yeah. EP. You're right, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> that one, and then the most recent one, yeah. Dimension Oscura. That was fucking badass. <laughs> that was with this. That was this, with this lineup. With this yeah. Lineup, yeah. Quick question: though. How did you guys come up with the name? Um, or you, right? <laughs> the name. It was tough. We were like, it's so hard to come up with a name. Well, and did we do the song first? And yeah. Then we grabbed the. We said, let's name. So the, we the we were EP writing a, a song, and I, it's a word that I was screaming in Spanish. It's called I'll, I'll, saying auxilio. It means a cry for help. And then I was like, hey, that's a cool band name. We should keep that. And it stuck. Right so, yeah. And, it, was, uh, it was the name of a song first. <laughs> so when you guys are, uh, can you talk about some of, the, you guys have been playing some really cool shows. I've been uh, uh, following you on Instagram and all that. Can you talk about some of the, the bigger shows you've played lately? Um, well, the most recent one with Otto Boko Otto Boko Otto Beaver. Beaver. That the Belasco, the Belasco. Yeah. it was fucking. It was sold out. It was yeah, yeah. It was, those girls, they kick ass. Yeah. 
And the, it's a the totally different style. How, how oh, yeah. Totally. oh, yeah, totally different. Um, so we got an email on our, um, on our band email from a UK promoter, right? And so. um, he asked if we wanted to do it. When we said, yeah, then he connected us to the LA promoter. And we were like, what the hell? We want to go to the UK, too. But this is cool. <laughs> 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 this is awesome. Yeah, so I guess, you know, just them listening to us because we didn't. Yeah. It was like out of nowhere. We were the only uh, L.A. band to play with them because it yeah. was two Japanese bands. Mm-hmm. So we were the chosen ones. Yeah. <laughs> I think we tried to get them on the podcast, right? And they were like, uh, thank you. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were They were they touring. Like, like, they, yeah. they were busy. They yeah. were yeah. 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 We, we couldn't even hang out with them. We barely hung out with them backstage. Yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were. What they, a rap gig. How was the crowd? Oh. They were great. Awesome. All ages, yeah. it was awesome. We had yeah. so many. All ages, we and we sold out all our sh- our merch. Yeah, a lot much. of people didn't even know we existed. They yeah. were like, where are you guys from? We're, we're from LA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so, so that was we got cool. we had new fans there, yeah. old fans. Um, it was awesome. It the was young a great kids turnout. too. They were like, oh yeah. my god. So so that was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So you played a couple of like travel shows, but you haven't toured yet properly, right? Yet. Well, in Mexico. Oh, but okay. yeah. Right. I but not that. here. Yeah, we oh. haven't toured here uh, <laughs> in the know. states. I don't know. They always ask us. We've been to two like what we call it mini, mini tours because it's like a week. We've done it twice in Mexico. What were the and Mexico once in tours Peru. like? They were fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. There, uh, were there any standout clubs or shows that you remember that that you can kind of recount? We don't hear a lot about those shows. We played um, the Swap Me. Um, oh, El Chopo. El Chopo in Mexico City. You want to explain yeah. what it is? Uh, it's a, it's a pretty much a Swap Me for the rock community, I guess, and it's been around for years, like it's years. Like known, they known just had the their third, 30th? 30th anniversary. Yeah, 30th anniversary. Yeah, when we just uh, played this last year in yeah. October. Yeah. In October, um, and they've had you know a bunch of bands, uh, famous local. Like, it's really, like, a community thing that they do there, and it's been around for years, and it works, and the crowds come out. It was and a great experience. Again, one more time? El Chopo. Okay, El Chopo. Yeah. El Tianguis. Tianguis. So it's like yeah. a punk rock yeah. flea market, yeah. pretty so much. It's, yeah. it's yeah. Tianguis yeah. Cultural yeah. El Chopo. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. It's been around for a really long time. Yeah. So that, that one was a really... It was an honor to play that. Yeah, yeah. it really was to, uh, to be asked to play, and it was it was awesome. How long was that tour in Mexico? Uh, that one was like a week, no? Yeah, about a week. a week. Yeah. How was it touring out there? Like, uh, did someone drive you around, or? We have a, a we tour, have tour manager, manager in, in Mexico. <laughs> Omar. Omar. <laughs> Shout out Puerco. Puerco. Yeah, he's um he he organized everything. He he drove us around and pretty much did everything no, for us. No, Bruno drove us Bruno around. Bruno drove us around. We, we had a driver. <laughs> he organized it, mm-hmm. um, doing the logistics, yeah. like the planning of it and all that good stuff. Getting us a driver, um, the yeah. van. Yeah, there's a healthy scene. I mean, mm-hmm. we're, we're totally into it. They're like Tosco's. Oh, oh yeah. Tosco's. Tosco's. Yeah, Tosco's. Tosco's. Yeah. Tosco's. Yeah. We love those guys. Yeah, they've been on <laughs> yeah. our show a couple times already. And, uh, oh, yeah. We're gonna bring them back, but yeah, we we dig the whole. Um, yeah, they're female in Spain vocals. right now. They're, yeah, they're touring, they're touring right in Spain yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, um, yeah, those guys are they're in the documentary. We you know oh, awesome. we got their perspective. Uh, they're local. Yeah, we saw them at uh, Chris and I saw them at La Santa, uh, couple, what six, three or four months ago or something. And, they're so um, good. The the beautiful what I loved about that show was the variety of punk you saw there. It was like, you know, you go to like a lot of these bands I love, mm-hmm. always have, always will, mm-hmm. but there's almost like a uniformity mm-hmm. in, in the punks that show up for the shows. Yeah. yeah. And at that show, you look over here, you got your, you got some solo punks. You go yeah. over here, you got old school crust punks. Yeah. You, know, like Bohawks. you go over here, you got your skate punks. And yeah. Punks. You got everybody. You got goth punks. Yep. You got everybody. It was, so ra- it was so rad. It was like, it the felt like it, it would back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah, especially with those all-age shows. Yeah. Uh, that one's 18 and over, right? But it was, no, it was all-age. No, 
it was all was ages. it all ages? Oh, really? Yeah, I was. I was so I got sick. I was, yeah, I was I so know. bummed. <laughs> he was bummed. He kept texting us too, like, "Hey, are you guys having fun?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was cute. Oh, oh. You guys are like, "Fuck yeah!" <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, you put no, so he doesn't no. feel bad. No, it's all right, dude. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's okay. It's, 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 We're falling asleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah totally, totally. Um, so you guys are you. You talked about you wanting to go to Europe. Do you think that's in the works? I think so. I think we just got to, like, make Either contact. Right. <laughs> I, I honestly do think that sometimes one of the main issues with being independent and DIY is the, the, fi- the finance mm-hmm. aspect of it, you know? Yeah. We, we all, you know, have day jobs and, and stuff like that. So, um you know, first things first, you got to take care of the bills at home. And I would love to have 10K stored away to just be like, sure, let me, you know, a tour, a tour and and, and, and not worry about how I'm going to eat or what hotels we're going to stay at or because we're going to finance ourselves. And but a, lo- a lot of these places that invite us, it's because it's also DIY there, mm-hmm. you know, it's it's pretty much like, yeah, they're going to help us out. But we also need to put in our, um, you know, our, our part. Yeah, yeah, our part as well. So, so pretty much your, the bulk of whatever you make on these tours probably comes from, you know, merch, right? That's probably pretty definitely. Much yeah. Merch and the shows. And the that, shows. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. We, we get a cut from the shows to make it to the next gig. Right. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a fun vacation, right? Yes. Well, a little bit of work, though. Yeah. Oh, sure. it's a lot of work, yeah. actually. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah. Day after day. Yes. So, yeah, uh, in Mexico, are they like, because um, I know in Europe, there's a lot of like squats, you know, a lot of really good, famous old squats that, that put on shows. Is that what it's like in Mexico, too? Yeah. Um, what was that one in? Shit. Remember we were driving and the, the taxi driver was like rocking out to Bobby's bed? Um, I don't remember, I don't remember where it either. was. But it was a DIY spot as fuck. Oh, um, Toluca. It was it Toluca? I don't remember. But yeah, a lot <laughs> of a memory. lot of DIY <laughs> collectives, like collectives, yeah. community spaces, um, what what else? Also just like uh DIY promoters who are Throwing a sh- gig in their backyard, mm-hmm. like uh, the Valle del Chalco one. We that played, one, that was Valle del we played in a dock yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. but that one was that different. W- that one was yeah. another tour. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was another tour. That was but, another DIY. But that was cool, too, because it, like, it was... I don't know. I thought it was pretty. It cool. was like someone's backyard, yeah. and it happened to be a, wow. a dog kennel, yeah, yeah right. type yeah. of thing. <laughs> so when you guys roll up to some of these gigs, you have no idea what the scene is like ahead of time. No. no. So no. you got people that come up and are like, "Hey, this is the spot." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless like it's a known spot that has like an Instagram yeah. or something, or like yeah, it's yeah. on Google Maps. Right. We're just like, uh, that like yeah, fun. it but, is. But it's cool to have the yeah. balance because mm-hmm. we did, you know, DIY backyard, but we also did like actual venues, venues like yeah. the one in Guadalajara. Yeah. That was like a legit. That venue. was a venue, yeah. venue, you know? yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah it was so we like um, El Foro Independencia or something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we do it all. Any, uh, <laughs> <laughs> any like crazy stories, like gnarly stories, like oh shit, we almost died or not oh, died, in, but in like Peru. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, talk about <laughs> Peru, Peru. <laughs> Machu Picchu. Um, <laughs> no, well, we didn't go to that. No. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, when, uh, okay, we so went, where was it? We were in El Centro. Uh, yeah, but where we played, because we had to drive kind of a little bit. It was still El Centro. Oh, okay. um, Our but, tour manager there was like, yeah, don't, don't take out your nobody. phone. Don't take out. Yeah. Don't talk to nobody. Don't take out your wallet. Stay together. Don't get drinks. And we're like, okay. We're like, yeah. <laughs> sure. And then. No fun. Yeah. Oh, that's. Exactly. But. Um, we got there. It was it was pretty. Yeah, when we got there, it was, it was wild. Gnarly. Like, yeah. the it was whole wild. street was, like, filled with, you know, punks. punks and, and they, they were, like, crawling jumping on, on cars. cars. <laughs> so they won't Whoa. walk by. I was like, wow, this is yeah. pretty wild. So, um. We didn't get to play there technically because the cops came and they shut everything down. Right, right. When right, we were, we were already. already we had we had our instruments on yeah. and they're like, no, not even to God. And I'm like, oh fuck. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and sucks. everybody was and like, everyone was like waiting you know, for us. Yeah. Um, that kind of blew. So then, we're like, whatever, you packed up, we're leaving, and then our old bases stops and talks to somebody. We're we you know we're gearing up. We're putting our shit in the van. And she like, let's comes, get out of here before yeah, we get robbed. Yeah, like, let's get out of here because, like, now everyone's like, well, we still want to party, you know? Yeah. 
And so she comes in and then with, a, with like a with like a shirt and something, something like a bundle. And we're like, what the fuck? We don't ask her about it. But then some we're about to close the van door and some dude starts he trying to open it. it. Right. He stopped it. He went like this. Yeah. Hey. And she's all like, yeah, she has my wallet. And then I was oh. like, what the fuck? And then she's all like. I don't what the f- I don't know what the fuck oh, happened because she, I started she's like, I yeah, got mad so yeah. I started yelling. She said yeah here. He's like no no no. Oh yeah. He's yeah. like no if you give it to me somebody's gonna uh, they're after me. Just give me your, your place where you're staying or your Instagram and and and, and, and I'll to. go get it after. And she's like okay. And we're like and then no. I think I snapped and I started was I talking in Spanish? I don't know what the fuck. Then, I just was like what and then the we're fuck? like give it back give it back. And she was trying to. He's like no. no so they yeah, were like, no. He's trying to push it back to his and like we're pushing it to him. And then we're trying to close the door because finally, I think you grabbed it and you threw it no, out, I, right? I, I threw it out and I kicked them. Yeah, I, she kicked, I kicked them, them and then, and and then our tour the manager, you did it? Someone yeah. slammed the door yeah. shut. I kicked and them then, out. And, and then, then we're yelling at her like, what the fuck were you thinking? They just told us not to talk to nobody, not to look at nobody, not to take nothing from nobody. But she's like, oh, she didn't hit him up after she could pick it up. Girl, like we're no, all. You know, first of all, we're all girls. Like, we look like we're, we're not from there. And we're staying at an Airbnb. Like, like oh, we don't need this anybody fool to come, come over here. Like, yeah. know where we're yeah, staying. Yeah. No, that, so yeah, I mean, it's funny. You think the the hardest thing about that is to play the gig itself. And then you got to worry about the after. You know, yeah. All these people looking to, to hit you up. Well, it's the Wild West, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun, though. You know, yeah. Also, I was thinking, like, a lot of times, you know, <coughs> the cops shut down a gig, and a band that's already set up will try to get in a song or two. Like, fuck we, oh, we yeah. tried, but, but like, I wouldn't it want was you not, there. That's yeah. not your, it's not your, it's not, not your territory. Place, man. Yeah. No, they were yeah. like, no, yeah. that's yeah. it. And we're like, strangers, strangers we're kind of looking line. at it. Yeah, we're kind of looking at each other like, so no, <laughs> we're like, we're, we were we're literally we were still ready to go. Had, yeah, yeah. But it was awesome. We still played uh two shows at the. It's not open anymore, but it's like a legendary place in Peru called the Hensley. Um, a bunch of bands have played there too. Unfortunately, it closed during COVID. Like you know, a bunch of venues have. Yeah. And it shout out to back. Lucho. Yep. <laughs> shout out Hensley Lucho. Is that like Lima? Lima, Peru, Lima. yeah. Yeah, Lima. Uh, Renzo's from Lima. We have our friend that's Peruvian. Oh, nice. Yeah, and he he's gnarly. He, uh, yeah, he got the uh, the cocaine out there is insane. Uh, and uh, <laughs> oh, the poor uh, guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't well, know. Yeah, we uh, don't know anything about uh, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you want some good coke, uh, Peru is the good place to go. I think we found our leading comment for the podcast. <laughs> anything about that <laughs> but that's gnarly so you guys got out of there yeah you know, it was all fine at the end but yeah. it was just like I mean, it's, it's punk rock you know you're gonna have moments you know yeah but it's it's good to keep your head on a swivel and be smart and not like you know leave definitely especially because we're girls too yeah, we to gotta, be honest yeah yeah, Peruvian authorities are probably gnarly, right? They're probably uh, pretty intense. They I were pretty intense. She's, oh. per- she's Peruvian. I'm half Peruvian. Yeah, so um, yeah they are. It's like super like military-ish. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So uh, was that like the, the one gnarly story you guys had? Or That's was everything else pretty pretty? only rap? one I could think of. Nothing happened in Mexico, huh? Uh, no. no. I mean, I, I have a couple things, but... <laughs> What? Well, were we the, drunk? What happened? I mean, <laughs> do, I mean, when we played when? the dog kennel show, remember that the lights went out for hours? Oh, and we were, like, yeah. Cooking it and we're like, are we even going to play the show? Like, straight up. That's how DIY yeah. it was. It's like a straight up little That's town. Right. And I think we take it power in, for granted in, sometimes, right? In we're Leon, so, right? Yeah. yeah the power went out for Leon. like two hours or three hours. More, or yeah, like around three oh. hours. And we were, and we were all just like kicking it like, uh, is this show going to happen? And we're like, should we leave? Because and they then, didn't want us to leave. They were like, no, no, no. no. The power's going to yeah. come back. Just stay. Yeah. Yeah. Were you guys all set up when it went out? No, not, we hadn't not, set up yet, yet, right? No. Uh, some gear Kinda? was set up. Yeah, like, our, I mean, the drums were set up. The PA was set up. There were people there. Yeah, there were people there. There were people there. Just kick back and wait. Yeah, yeah and we just like, waited. For and sure, you know how spoiled we are out here. That's what, yeah, what I'm that saying. Here. That's that's what I was telling them when I remember just being at that show and just like really, you know, uh, putting things into perspective. Like it, this is how it's gonna be in other countries. It's not everyone is gonna be as privileged as yeah. as you know. Sometimes things we take for granted. Mm-hmm. Like, 
like having power all be, the time. People would be bitching online for fucking months oh at that happened. <laughs> <laughs> true. So fucking true. We, and we stayed there. And though. then yeah. yeah. And then the other one that comes to my mind is when uh when we played Zacatecas, like that crowd was wild. Right. And they partied till like six AM. That venue partied till six AM. They were offering us drugs they were giving us um uh 32 ounces like um they, free, they, 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 they were giving us kawamas <laughs> and like oh, they no. partied hard you know and i was like damn this scene is one of those scenes where it's like like it stays in my mind because they were they had that wild spirit yeah. you know it was more than just like okay we're gonna play the show and then we all go home nah they were down to just party all night that's so you my would definitely go back and do another tour yeah uh, yeah that's hands down hands down yeah. <laughs> how was the food how do they oh, feed you amazing, amazing. fantastic yeah. best food ever <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so they took care of you and you don't have to worry about it well no. i mean like we bought our own food <laughs> <laughs> But, it was fucking but bomb. the food's amazing. Yeah. yeah, always in Mexico, food is so good. Do you, uh, any of you have like food restriction stuff, or any of you like vegan or? or I'm vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. So was it is it challenging? It's not anymore, really. Most places, but you're out there. Is it challenging? It the, the times where it has been challenging is when they go to like taco stands and it's like three a.m. Yeah. and we're all <laughs> on one taco stand and I mean it's gonna be meat, you know. And so Except I'm just for like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna just get a tortilla with beans right now. I make it work, you know. I make I it work, to, yeah. and you know, gotta eat some beans and rice and and or quesadilla, and then you know, just good thing I'm not vegan because yeah, then it would be even more restrictive because. Everything's touching. Like, ain't no way, you know, that not the taco stand. Yeah, not at the taco stand. <laughs> Those taco stands are so good at 3 in the morning. So yeah. freaking yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. The really good one, this last one, when we were in, I don't know when, but remember Omar? He's like, oh, check out the... The cook and he's all like, oh yeah, and the, like uh, straight making the tacos, favorite. and I'm all like, yeah. and that's taking our money and everything. And I was like, damn, those shits were bomb though. <laughs> Who cares, right? Every health code <laughs> being broken for sure. Like, I already ate it and I was fine. So uh, I have a buddy whose theory is the grimier the place, right? the better the food. A lot oh, of people have, yeah, <laughs> believe that. Yes, like if it's too clean, I'm like, man, where's yeah, the little yeah. so like. <laughs> <laughs> So what's what's going on now? Well, you guys have I, I noticed you you're going to Vancouver. Yes, I saw that on your page, and then uh, Mexico In June. or um, no, well, no, no. Uh, Tijuana. Tijuana. Okay. Well, I mean, it's Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> we'll count that as Mexico. Yeah, yeah, no, no one counts. We're just so it's close sick. to it. Yeah, but I mean, technically, we're it's trying Mexico. to do um, uh, Tijuana and Ensenada. Ensenada, but yeah. we haven't. We're still working on that. Where do you guys play in uh, Tijuana? Yeah. So we've played at the Black Box before. The Black Box. Um, this last time we, we played, played at. Uh, we I've we've also played. I don't know if you were there. I no, no, I wasn't. El, El Pueblito Bar. It was grimy, but we that place was dope. Time, but they 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 just shut it down. And then we're at this last one. It was the Mustache Bar. The Mustache that was a Bar. Spot. That was a cool yeah. spot. Yeah, in a brewery. It's I like think. a it's like mm -hmm. a brewery, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a like a little brewery. What about like the one in Tecate? Yeah. What, what, in Tecate that? was Licores Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. Voodoo Glosco just played there last yeah. night. Wow. So, yeah. Oh, he it, was I telling know. me he wanted, I, now I remember. He the, was, the guy? Yeah, he was like, you think, because Eddie recorded us. So he he knew for some reason the guy from the venue. He was like, "You think he'll play over here?" I'm like, "I don't know, dude. Ask him." So they played. He, yeah. yeah, they played last night. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Man, so. I'm so old school. Like when I was going to Tijuana, it was with these guys. It was uh, it was iguanas and Red Square and stuff like that. And that was way back in like the early '90s and stuff. But um, it's cool. I like. I'd love to go back out there and see what the shows are like. You know, they're badass. They're yeah. Yeah. they're cracking. Yeah, for sure. I recommend it for sure if you have a chance. And then talk about Vancouver. What's that all about? It's a festival. Have a good um, laugh fest. Yeah, it's called Have a Good How Laugh Fest. How do we fest. get that? Um, we our the, buddies from Fame. Oh, the Fame dudes. Huh? They're, they're the ones that throw the show, and their band's pretty good too. And they're 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 pretty cool with us. They yeah. like our music. They we met them in um we played oh, and a and festival called Pontitude that's pretty known. They bring a lot of bands from all over the world uh, once a year, and we played uh, two years. Two years ago? Two, Two years, years ago, ago, we played there, and they played, and we met, and 
So they're going to get us to uh, play in Canada. Yeah. Right. It'll be our first festival, time yeah. ever. I think none of us have been to Canada in general, no. huh? Yeah. So, so we're excited for that. Yeah. It's going to be cool. You think you'll be able to like uh, play the festival and then do some shows while you're out there? Or is it just kind of fly in, play, and then bail? Yeah, we're going to just fly in. Um, so the show's on sa- uh, Saturday, the fest. Uh, we're going to fly in on Friday, and then we're leaving Monday. Yeah, you know, we, we, we weren't able work. to. Yeah. yeah, we weren't. I'd like me personally. I would have loved to, you yeah, know, do same. a couple more shows like Seattle or, or something else. But, but like again, the thing about being in a band mm-hmm. is everyone else's schedules and responsibilities. Yeah. So at least we get to play that fest, though. So yeah, yeah. yeah. but it would it would have been cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. What are some of the other bands on that bill? Do you know? Are there any other notable bands on there that we would should check out? I put you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of the ones. I know I want to look at the flyer now because uh, yeah, you don't yeah. Like it. I don't I don't want to put you on that that spot in real time. I was just wondering. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, the, the one flyer's been out for a while. That's why. Yeah, it's yeah. been out for a while. Yeah. Um, well, go check it out. What's the name of the that, fest? That band boot look boot liquor. Uh, that, that band <laughs> boot liquor is pretty cool. Right. Um, chain whip too. Um, yeah, I think they're both from Canada. Right. If if I'm recalling correctly. It's always a rad thing about talking to people like this is you get to you get introduced to other bands that you haven't heard of. Yeah, like my favorite part. Like, the the main headlining band they're called Instinct of Survival. I personally haven't heard them till recently because of the flyer. I was like, oh, let me check it out. They're the headliners. It's just some straight up crust punk, yeah, like sick. straight up crust. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And so, uh, besides that, are are there any other gigs lined up yet? Yeah. Um, oh, we're playing uh, in Long Beach in May at Supply and Demand. I saw oh, some. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's close. We yeah, yeah. We're also playing uh, Punks for Palestine. With oh, yeah. that one's coming up sooner. Yeah. Very cool. Um, in LA great. on May twelfth. Yeah. And then May twenty second is Long Beach Supply and Demand. Um, right. We're in support of uh, hers. Yeah, her, hers, the hers, hers collective. collective. They're touring right and uh, the Death. The Death Club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been to that venue a few times. It's a lot of fun. It's yeah, really yeah, it's a, it's co- a cool, it's a cool venue. venue. Yeah, yeah, I want to check it out. Um, I haven't been to that venue, but I've seen a lot, uh, a lot of bands, cool bands are playing there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's when, when's that again? Uh, May twenty second. It is the Wednesday. Yeah, it's a Wednesday. It's a school it's a night. Wednesday. Oh, it's a school night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'll have to play hooky from school. No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, we sometimes do that, no week weekday stuff. So that that's Same. nice. Um, it's just all about it's all about the water. Right. If you get to sleep, get hydrated. <laughs> You'll make it. Are you guys uh, recording anything new? Anything in the works regarding recording? Not at the moment. Um, but we're gonna take a little break yeah. after these shows, and we're trying to like to focus on music because uh, the shows kind of like put us in. You know, it throws us, especially when we travel. You know, it's just like then when we come back, we're like, all right, let's take a break. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot. <laughs> yeah, of, it uh, does. Ride it all when you're on the road like that? Probably not, huh? Probably no, too big, huh? I think we're too excited and partying yeah. and <laughs> vacation, <laughs> yeah. but working like, at the work same vacation. time. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a cool goal to like, if, you know, we're not being super active and, and focusing on an album. Mm-hmm. I just threw this idea out yesterday or a couple of days ago. I was like, hey, why don't we, you know, make it a a, a a goal where we can release a single it's yeah. not an album yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not an ep mm-hmm. but at least we're putting something out there yeah. so you know we, we we keep staying something we could share with yeah. with with folks i, I think you know? that is something that would be so much more receptive these days mm-hmm. yes than it Short back, in the day. When back in the day was album based ep yeah. based yeah you had to have a uh, like a cluster of songs mm-hmm. before you put them out nowadays people just they single serve mm-hmm. music so much that putting out a single now and again would serve you guys yeah. just fine yeah definitely yeah and I, and every i mean everyone's on their phone i mean most people don't even listen to the song all the way through it's like t- 20 seconds if they don't like it in 20 Short seconds they just spent. you know yeah. next so <laughs> <laughs> they all have short attention spans, yeah, right? Yeah. In the TikTok world, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's crazy because uh, like I have kids, and yeah, it's just kind of what they're growing up into. It's just like, uh, um, are, can you give us some? Um, so we're always looking for new bands, and can you recommend some maybe uh, bands that you you're into, maybe playing or seeing, or maybe not just know about that you can turn us on to? Some give some shout outs. 
Right now, I'm really into a band called The Flex. Um, and I like Exit Order a lot. I've never seen them. You've probably seen them. Yeah, I've seen yeah. them. Um, who else am I? I don't know. There's a lot. Um, Mujeres Podridas is really good, too. Shout out to Drew. And I don't know. What else? Well, I'm going to try to keep it local because if I start thinking about what I yeah. like from across the country, it's like a, that list is way too long. But um, I'm trying to think of like local bands that I, I'm, I'm really into. I really like Trauma because it reminds me of that, you know, Trauma, D beat yeah. style and, and the, that very the vocals have a lot of like delay. And I've, I've always liked that style of music. Um, what else? Um, uh, of course, it's like, like when you go to Amoeba and you know what you know what you're gonna get, and then you get there and you're, <laughs> you're like, like, what band? What like, was what, I gonna get? Like what bands do I even like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, like well, that. one recently that I I saw uh, Haunter. They're pretty cool. They're local. I think I just saw they're playing San Diego tonight. Yeah, they're a cool band. The dark too. The dark. Oh, yes. Yeah, dark. they just, they just came out with yeah. which has music the drummer video. for Toscos. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. That's our other side yeah. project. Yeah, and they just put out a new LP and it's awesome. So I recommend y'all check it out because it's like brand new off hot off the press. Hot off the presses. Yeah, yeah we we'll have to check that out. Uh, all right, is there any anything else you guys would like to let us know about the band? Where do we find? <laughs> how about where do we where do we find where do we find you? Um, for Instagram it'll be Auxilio Band, and Facebook will be Auxilio. Los Angeles. That's all we have, huh? Bandcamp also. It's Auxilio. Um, Spotify, Apple Music. All mm -hmm. the music streaming. It's Auxilio. Um, our email. Huh? Our, our email. Oh, our email is auxilioband at gmail. Right. Please don't send us nothing inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean. And once again, the two shows you got coming up most recent, you've got the, the Palestine show and the Supply and Demand. Tell us where you're yeah. playing that, that, those two gigs. Well, I know where the supply is. Yeah. <laughs> so May 12th is Punks for Palestine. It's a, it's a free show, but donations, obviously, you know, um, donation-based. And it's at the, what is it? I've never it's played called the... It's called Non Plus Ultra. Um, it's, it's like a little venue space. Like, uh, I want to say kind of going towards, um, I want to say towards East Hollywood area, but I may be wrong. I haven't been there in years. Uh, pre-pandemic but yeah non plus ultra and you can find them on instagram it's kind of one of those things where you ask someone for the address so i'm sure you can message the day of i know non I mean, plus ultra oh, I'm and then when is that supply and demand date supply and demand is may 22nd supply oh, and demand in long beach cool right in the middle of the week though but we will we, well, i want to try to make that i want to see see you guys play for sure yeah hell yeah that'd be awesome yeah Thank and um all right, so with that said, we really appreciate you coming out and talking to us. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to, to get to know the band better and, and learn about you and, you know, with the music and everything. So we appreciate you taking the time and coming out. We're, we're deep in South Orange County, so they had a little bit of a trek, and it's not easy to get to us sometimes, and so we appreciate that. And uh, so with that said, can you... Pick a song you want you want us to play. Uh, take your session out. Which one? Cindy. Weather? Uh, I, weather or Temor Control? Uh, yeah, I was I thinking like that too. Yeah. Which one? Temor then? Come on, y'all. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll give you two. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. give you two and you guys pick. Weather we'll Weapon. Back. We'll play both. Nice. Okay. Weather Weapon and Temor Controla. All right. Yeah, and Beautiful. Those, those are on the latest EP because that that's the latest lineup. If yeah. you play the other ones, then it's 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 not <laughs> us us, you know. Now, anyways, yeah. yeah. The current lineup. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's really nice to see the camaraderie <laughs> that you have. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's good to see that. Um, okay. Well, th once again, thanks for coming out, and um, yeah, we appreciate also, it. Uh, he doesn't get a lot of recognition. Thank you, Chris Turnangle, super producer Chris. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you, Chris. Through him, you, Chris. All, through him all podcasts are possible. Yay. <laughs> so thank you. Woo. Yeah, we wouldn't be doing shit without him. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're out. All right. We're out. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Second, <laughs> Cool.